small groups have helped develop our walk with the Lord by um, providing some accountability and encouragement to remain in God's Word through the week and be able to come and discuss His Word with others and just to grow in our faith that way and just to help keep us encouraged and accountable. Kind of the crux of it is to get into the Word and to study more and then have other people studying the same thing so you're learning alongside with you know people and learning some of the same things but helping each other out in that way. So. I think for us, we did not grow up in this area. We moved to Bradenton after graduated school. So a lot of the people in this area are related and all know each other because they grew up together. So um, for us, life groups provided an opportunity to plug in and get to know people um, and not just be there and as an attender on Sunday mornings, but to build relationships and friendships and our kids have gotten to know their kids and just provide time to really fellowship together. And... I think we feel that you know God doesn't just call us to be a spectator all the time. And so we know that discipleship is, is the core of what God calls us to do. And we can't do that unless we're with other people, bonding with people, encouraging other people. And so there's no better way to do that than, than to be in a life group or to start a life group. So we felt a call to do that. I think we felt that call for a while now. And we're just finally just ready to step out and do that. We've always been, yes, more of the one being discipled and being in a group, but um, just feel God's calling to step out and, and start when we know that we have a lot of new people coming to North River and they need a place to go, they need a life group, and so many of ours are so big, we want them to be able to experience a small group where we can really bond and um, build relationships together, so we're ready to step out and see what he has in store. You know, definitely encourage everyone to be a part of a life group. It's really where you're going to feel that big church becomes small, where friends become family. It really is um, a time where that's where you're going to get plugged in. That's where you're going to find a place to fit and serve together and just to help each other grow in your faith. Have somebody praying for you during the week and actually know what's going on with your family during that week. Um, and just people to follow up with you and always be just there beside you as you walk with the Lord. And I think there's another side of that where you are that person to someone else. You're the person that needs to be praying for someone else and you're the person that needs to be encouraging those other people. And so uh, it's, it's vitally important that you're a part of life groups. So join a life group, <laughs> you get free babysitting, Life and groups will make you smile. <laughs> and your world is perfect from there on out. No. All your friends are doing it. <laughs> Every, everybody else is doing it. I mean, you'll be the only person not in a life group. <laughs>